Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gianni. Cass is here helping me again, once more in supine. <laughs> and we're looking at releasing um, the anterior low horizontal fibers of our internal obliques. And these are the muscle fibers that live in the pelvis um, at and a little bit below the ASISs. So a few videos ago, talking about the three parts of the transverse, I, um, I told you that you're going through the external obliques and then you hit the internal obliques. And the internal obliques at all three layers, that's muscle. And especially these um, low anterior horizontal fibers of the internal obliques, um, because a lot of us are overriding the transverse and we go right into our internal and our external obliques, especially in this area of the pelvis, um, there can be one or both, usually it's just one side, that um, kind of feels like a full balloon or it feels like a stale brownie. And both sides, once you hit the internal obliques, should feel like moist sponge cake. So what you can do with your client is palpate right at the ASIS, maybe a little bit below, um, and just go side to side and try to determine which side feels a little bit more tense than the other side. Right? And so Cass, she feels pretty good actually on both sides, but just a little bit more tense on this right side. So once you determine that, and you can teach the client to do this release on their own. Maybe you do it the first time and then you can teach your client to do it. So in order to release this, it takes an intramuscular um, release technique. So you go to the linea alba, and the ASIS, and you wanna bring those two points together. So you start to create ease in the area. You start to create a slackening of the area so that the network, this kind of um, microvacular network of the, the fascial tissue in and around the muscles starts to change. And you only hold it maybe 20 or 30 seconds, but during this wait is when the, the change of the tissue starts to happen. And the consistency of this is also important. You can't just do one and done, you need to do it a few times. So then you'd release it, and then the last part of this is that you would pull that area apart. So you'd stretch it in the opposite direction, maybe 10 to 20 seconds and then release, and then you would recheck much better. Now, this one feels a little bit tighter, so you could do the other one too. But what this is gonna do is gonna help you, or your client, it's gonna help your client to find more of a symmetrical transverse connection, which is then gonna help them with that whole stability around their um, pelvis, lumbar spine, and sacrum. So the release really, really important for people to create as much balance, as much symmetry on both sides. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.